This is a comment or question that's come to the site from a number of people relative to Joe Nichols. And they talked about, when I talked about Joe, how he used his shoulders. Now a lot of people have gone back and I think it was like 1986 or something in Golf Digest, Joe wrote an article. It's really one of the only articles he's ever written uh, about his swing methodology or ideas. And one of the things that what Joe believed is that the golf swing, that your arms are just swinging in a circle around you like this. Now, the reality of that, of this, this kind of motion here, uh, there's, Joe wasn't the first. He, there were other teachers. And if you go to a guy named Bill Melhorn, Wild Bill Melhorn. So all of you who are on the site, Google Bill Melhorn. Okay, this guy talked about the lever system and how it was a circle like this and how you got this circle going and here's how your, this is how your arm worked and all your body did was it pivoted back and forth and that was basically your golf swing. And he was a good player and he was a good teacher so he had a lot of good ideas about the golf swing. And he believed, like Joe, that, that, that your golf swing was this circle where the, the club went like this around you. And Joe would have us hit balls where you'd go hit, hit, hit. So you just sit there. So now what are my arms having to do? The good part about this is what are my arms doing? See, you, you, if tight shoulders, <laughs> this isn't going to work. You can't. If I tighten my shoulders, there's no way I could do that. So this is getting your shoulders relaxed and getting the club swinging in an arc where it, it's like a propeller on an airplane. It's just going around you. And then all... All you were really doing then is you used your shoulder angles to determine your path. So Joe talked about a shoulder set. So once you got the club swinging around you correctly, if I went to the top of my swing and I, I set my shoulders this way, so where are they aimed? Out to the right. So if I set my shoulders that way and my arms worked around my shoulders, what shot would I hit? it would start out to the right and it'd draw. If I wanted to hit the ball straight, I'd swing up to the top, then I'd come down and I'd set my shoulders parallel to my target line. So I'd set my shoulders there and hit it. And when I did that, with the same hand action release, the ball would go straight. If I wanted to hit a fade, all I would do is I would set my shoulders this way. Now when I do that, when I get here and I set my shoulders like this, what does it do to the handle? It pulls the handle forward so the pivot point happens a little late. So where's the face relative to the ball? It's a little open. So when I set my shoulders this way, the face is late, so what does the ball do? starts out to the left and fades back into the target. But how the club was working, how I was standing the club up, hit the ball, and this whole motion here, this rotor action, or the pullback, all of this was the same. This was the same. And then the shoulder set changed the path, which changed the timing of the face, which changed the curve on the ball. So he got you swinging the club around your center the same, and then he just set your shoulders in different positions. I've had a lot of success with a lot of players, getting them to feel, because most players that I work with tend to get here and go this way, so they got the fade shoulder set down. So when I take a hold of their shoulders, I say, okay, get up to the top, and then set your shoulders what feels to be set your shoulders aimed to the right. And a lot of times, feeling their shoulders set also makes their hip work, and all of a sudden, their club comes more from the inside, the ball starts out to the right, and they hit a draw. I don't like personally thinking about setting my shoulders, but that's an option. That's what Joe was talking about. Shoulder set changes path, path tends to change curve. That's pretty much it.
Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.